Do you wanna know the number one habit that keeps people stuck? That's what you're gonna hear about today on episode number 79 of the Max Potential Habits Podcast. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes, the founder of NFA Coaching and the host of this podcast and the person who brings you tips, tools, and inspirational interviews every week to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in your life and business. And this week, we are going to talk about negative self-comparison. But first, if you didn't listen to last week's episode, I talked about giving away some free prizes for the raffle for you going on to iTunes and leaving a written rating and review. So if you're a loyal fan and you've been listening for a long time, please, please, please give me a written rating and review, take a screenshot, email it to mphraffle at nfacoaching.com, mphraffle, that stands for Max Potential Habits, raffle at nfacoaching.com with the screenshot of your review and I will enter you in to win a prize. Um, it'll be a fun surprise. <laughs> so that would be awesome. You know, I, I put a lot of time and energy, money uh, into this podcast, and right now I don't have any supporters. So it's all on me, and it's because I want to bring you massive value every week. So it'd be awesome if you could return the love by leaving a review. Okay, let's talk about negative self comparison. So, across the board, when people ask me, what do you think the one common problem for people is? And the first thing that always comes to my mind and I keep seeing time and time again is negative self-comparison. So what does it actually look like? It's when we are holding ourselves in a space, comparing ourselves to other people and holding ourselves in a less than space. So we're going, oh, they're awesome, they're amazing, they've got it figured out, they look better, they act better, they do better, and I'm down here. So we're pedestalizing people and putting ourselves in the pit and we're thinking that what they have, we don't have. So negative self-comparison shows up in so many different forms. I'll give you some examples. You know, when I started my business, I am a real go-getter. I am very impatient (laughs) and I can be a perfectionist. So when I started building my business, I was constantly comparing myself to coaches that are way ahead of me and I would I wouldn't notice it at the time but I'd go I want to be here I want my website to look like this I want my programs to be like this why aren't I making money faster why am I not finding success more quickly and I really had to stop and go Amanda what the heck are you thinking you know one of my main comparisons was my mentor um, John Martini and he's been in business for 45 years He's been doing his business for 45 years. And I felt like I needed to be there today already right now. And part of that is perfectionism. And part of it is being a go-getter. You know, you see the model of the people that you want to be like. And you're like, I want to be there now. But the problem is that it sets you up for discouragement, frustration, self-doubt, um, You feel like you aren't getting there fast enough, and so some days it really challenges your mindset. This shows up with my clients similarly all the time. So let's say you're in the real estate industry, and you're learning the ropes from someone who's teaching you, and they've been in the business for a long time, and they're closing six deals a month, and you haven't gotten any yet. Well, shit, if you aren't someone who goes, okay, I'm in the first stages of building my business. I'm learning what to do. I'm just, it's it's like being a baby. You're at the baby steps where you're standing up, falling down, standing up, falling down, learning to walk. You're not going to get up and just start sprinting day one. And it's funny that we have these expectations of ourselves because it, it makes sense. We want to get there. We want to be successful. But then we're looking to outside validation to show us that we're good enough, that we're smart enough, that we can do this. We think, oh, when I just get that one deal or that one new client or I sell my first 20 products, I will then feel good about myself and I will be able to say I'm successful. The problem with that is you're working backwards. Instead of the be, do, have model, you're ha- doing the have model. When I have this, I'll be be happy. I'll be successful. I'll feel like I'm a legitimate business owner. You've got to have the reverse in order and go, 
go, I am an awesome, incredible, striving, brilliant person who's taking a leap, diving in and learning the ropes. And you've got to start to see where you are and where you want to go and know that there's going to be a gap in between and be persistent and consistent in taking action every day and be in your race, not someone else's. So I'm going to uh, give you four ways to stop negative self-comparison, some action steps. And first, the first one is reframe by focusing on forward progress. So forward progress instead of comparison. So a lot of times what happens is we compare ourselves to a past version of ourselves where we're like, I'm not as good as I used to be. And so I'm going to beat myself up and think I'm... I'm not able to ever go back to that place. I'll give you an example. I was running, I I went on a hike this weekend (laughs) to the top of a mountain with my friend who's a lot younger than me and she works out a lot more than me and we used to run together. We've been running together for years and years and years and I used to work out 15 hours a week. I used to run 40 miles a week and now that I'm in the first, you know, now I'm in the second year of my business, I have cut way back on my workouts and so we're, you know, we're doing this hike and I'm like comparing myself to her horribly and beating myself up and I had to remember my own tricks and go, wait, from today forward, what's my progress? Okay, I can't sit there and think I'm going to be as good as I was five years ago when I was working out 15 hours a week and now I'm working out five. That's not a realistic expectation. So I had to, in my mind, do a reframe and choose. Okay, Amanda, what are your priorities now? And how am I going to focus forward instead of beating myself up? So I started thinking, I'm getting into shape right now. I'm getting stronger every moment. Every step I take is building my muscles. I'm awesome. I had to switch my mental game to stop comparing myself to a past version of myself. So reframe by focusing on forward progress. Another one people get stuck on, like I was saying, is wanting the quick wins. So get over wanting quick wins. Okay, so you're focusing on long-term success. If you're stuck in that place of going, it's not happening fast enough, it means I'm not enough, it means I'm going to fail, you're going to struggle and you're going to consistently be wishing you were somewhere where you're not or someone who you're not. So stop comparing yourself to this future version of yourself that you think is going to have quick wins all the time. Success doesn't happen overnight. It's a long-term game that you're in building a business. So get over wanting quick wins. Remember, commit, decide, take action. Commit, decide, take action and you're your success is inevitable. You just need to stay in the game long enough. Okay, and the next one. Own the traits of the people you admire. I love this one because it has to do with this idea of if you've spotted it, you've got it. And that we all have every single trait. You're just hyper-focusing on the ones that you think you don't have. You're too humble to see that what's in them is in you. So, for example, if you're comparing yourself to someone who's ahead of the game in the business building world and you're like, oh, but they're so good at packaging their thoughts into information that's sellable and I'm not good at that. Well, maybe you're not yet. Get a book on copy, hire a coach, take a course. There's so many ways to get better at that. And it also means it's already in you. You just haven't learned all the steps yet. So you see it in them, you have it. So start owning the traits of the people you admire. And this also gives you a clue and a roadmap to who you want to become. So if you admire something in someone, it's giving you an indication that it's something you feel like you're missing and that you wanna step into the power of what they have in that area. So step into that power. You totally have it. You can do it. Stop minimizing yourself. You're freaking awesome. (laughs) Last, write a unique me celebration story. So what this is, is sitting down and writing it down all of your skills, all of your credentials, all of the things you're brilliant at, things people tell you you're good at, things people come to see you for, things that you know that just you think come really naturally to you, those are the things that you're uniquely awesome at. Embrace it, celebrate it, and start to highlight in your mind how amazing and incredible you are, which helps you stop minimizing yourself in comparison to others. So the the most common habit that keeps us stuck is negative self-comparison and I want you to focus this week on these action steps to shift out of it. Reframe by focusing on forward progress, get over wanting quick wins, own the traits of the people you admire, and write a unique me celebration story. 
you've got this, you're awesome, you're uniquely you and you're uniquely amazing, high fives. I'll be back next week. Have a max potential week where you thrive and feel alive. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Max Potential Habits Podcast. If you're liking what you've heard, it would be so incredibly awesome if you would subscribe to the channel and leave a five-star rating and a written review. This helps me help more people while we grow our NFA community so we can rock it out together. For Max Potential Habits resources, go to nfacoaching.com where you can access all of my resources. There's free ebooks, PDF checklists, a journal template, a business mindset meditation kit, and so much more. Plus, links to NFA Coaching on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And if you're super serious about up leveling, there's also a link to schedule a free consult to work with me in group or one on one coaching. Until next time, I hope you have a Max Potential Habits Day where you get inspired to do whatever it takes to transform into the most empowered version of yourself so you can lead a rich, thriving, kick-ass life and business.